Okay, let's look at the pump. And this is your set point. If the tank is zero to 50% full, you're running the pump at speed four, which would be 100% speed. The tank is 51 to 60% full, we're running the pump at 50% speed. The tank is 61 to 75% full, we slow it down to 25% speed two. And if the tank is 76 to 100% full, we run it at 10%. So you can see the, the emptier the tank is, the faster the pump will run. As we get closer and closer to the fill point, we slow the pump motor down. Okay. Now remember, these percentages are not the absolute percentages, but the percentages as modified by your set point over here on your fill point. For instance, you set your fill point again at 50%. Set your fill point, I don't want to go over 50% full. Well, you're multiplying whatever you're reading by that set point and adjusting the speed. So down here, from 0 to 25, you're going to be going at full speed. Then we get up to here, we're going to go down, what is it, 50%. And then as we approach that 50% point, we'll slow down to 10% pump speed. When the absolute value of the tank gets up to 50%, we shut it off. You guys understand the difference between tank absolute value and the set point of the tank? Yes. Okay. Now, you've got four separate processes here for this program. We've got four separate things you have to keep track of. You've got your run taking care of the conveyor. You pay attention to the overload. Start, stop running the system. You've got your tank filling. You've got your tank filling process that you have to keep track of. You've got your bottle filling and releasing process over here. Then the final part is your box filling process. There are links between those. The conveyor run will start and run everything. Nothing happens unless the conveyor is running. The tank fill is independent of everything else. The only input into your, your tank fill is your set point, your tank level, and if the conveyor is running. Okay? Your bottle fill. Your bottle fill is out here and it's running. It's got the uh, the only inputs into it again are the conveyor. The outputs are your fill valve and your release valve. Your box fill. Your release valve increments the counter, and then it controls your box filler. So you've got four separate sections. You can work on each one of them separately get it working, then go on to the next section. But don't try and intermingle everything in it. It'll pretty much mess everything up.